hey, Kenny, it's Kenny. This is entry number seven, and I'm here with my awesome girlfriend, Tawny, and we're in fucking Denver. We are in Denver. We've been in Denver for a few days, did some shows, ate some food so far, a lot of food. A lot of food. Like, I was uh, hurting last <laughs> night. I was hurting pretty bad. We had some Texas Roadhouse. I went a little wild, and then from Texas Road, we had Texas Roadhouse, it was like, 4.30 when we finished eating, and I was dying and full up until we went to sleep at 2 in the morning. <laughs> I was full and fucked up. So, uh, the food was delicious, though, and then we're going to do this podcast and go right back to it. Uh, <laughs> Tawny's never had Red Lobster, so we're going to go get some Red Lobster. Are you excited for that? I am excited for that. That's actually what we went to do yesterday. She's never had Red Lobster. We're going to go have some Red Lobster. And then we pulled in, and Texas Roadhouse was there. And we're kind of like, well, we have Red Lobster at home. We might as well eat the Texas Roadhouse. And uh, it w- we w- I went wild. Yeah. I went wild. I mean, you were already eating, you know, within hours. That's not true. Yeah, it is. You were having fucking fudge bites. I had one fudge bite because I wanted the dessert when we were at Texas Roadhouse, but there was no way. Yeah, it was it was wild. But, yeah, it's a bit of pretty, like, fun trip so far. Started off rocky. You got out of work a little bit later than you wanted to yeah uh and so but it was i mean it wasn't that big of a deal and then we went to vegas uh and we're in vegas for like nine hours <laughs> was that really all no uh, uh, tw- okay 12 hours okay yeah you're right it wasn't that long we yeah. got there late at night and we, d- we had lunch we yeah. got th- we got there at 1 30 in the morning and then we slept in went to lunch and then left Having bomb ass lunch. Yeah, bomb ass lunch. Having well, we're getting on the way back. <laughs> Definitively, we might get no, it on the way back. We're not. We have no set plans. Definitively, we getting don't this even food on the way back. We don't. You e- said we are getting it because we're splitting the boat. That I said, you know. Yeah, I, I agreed to that. If we get, go there, we don't even know if we're going to Vegas. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. So if we go, we're going to Vegas on no, the way back. We don't. And if we go and do your hiking thing. On on Monday, we're probably not going to Vegas on the way back. You mean tomorrow? Oh yeah, tomorrow's <laughs> Monday already. The days are no, we are going to by. Vegas. We figured out Vegas no matter what. <laughs> you seem to have figured out Vegas no matter what, but I can't commit to any plans <laughs> because it all depends on times. Pasta. <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on pasta. Yeah, I want that pasta. No, so we're that's going to Vegas. that's what you're making your plans based on is pasta. Yeah, man. I created a monster with this Olive Garden shit, didn't I? Yeah, I was fine not even eating Olive Garden before you. And then it transitioned from Olive Garden to we would go to Aless- we go to Alessa's in Huntington Beach, which we haven't been to in a while, uh, as well, which is just a, like a real Italian food, like a like Olive Garden is like the fucking like mainstream chain. Yeah, no, all of our Olive Garden is like the target of Italian food. Because I'm not gonna say Walmart because I like Olive Garden. <laughs> But it's like the Target of, but it's like Target is still cool. I mean, these jeans are from Target, so it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I'll yeah, buy shit Target. at Target. Target is cool, but I'm not going to claim that Target is like, you know. It's not Macy's. Yeah, something more. Nordstrom. more. Yeah, nor, I guess Nordstrom's <laughs> a good, it's like something more that has way more, you know, designer shit, way more like, you know, shit that people want. Target, if you're buying your clothes at Target, you're, you're. You, you may, I don't think you're like, I want these clothes. You're like, I kind of need these clothes, and this is They're my – They're basics. You get basics at Target. My, this is my, my good option. I think it's like a up, just an upgrade from Walmart. I can't buy clothes well, at Walmart. end of the story. You got me hooked on Olive Garden. It's your fault. Okay, but uh, th- okay. here we are. She tried to go to Olive Garden today. She was like, well, can we just go to Olive Garden? I'm like, well, we should probably go to Wet Red Lobster at least, right? Because we live right down the street from Olive Garden, and we go there. We were supposed to go to Carmine's. Yeah, a place called Carmine's. It looks fucking bomb. It's only open for four hours, so you know it's fucking good. But yeah, it looks so good. But I have a show in Boulder, Boulder Comedy Show. So we'll be there instead of eating more Italian food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we what, We went to Vegas. <laughs> then we spent the whole next day driving, like, fucking forever, like 12 hours of driving. Got here, and then uh, what did we do on Friday? When we got here? Yeah, like we got like that we was. We got here late. 
no, 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 we, we, no, we got here late Thursday night. That's what I'm saying. What do we do on Friday during the, the aquarium? N- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. That's all. I was like, we did something. We yeah. went to we went to the aquarium. The Denver Aquarium. And I found out that I'm an idiot because I was going in thinking like, all right, it's gonna be like the Long Beach Aquarium, well, but we're not by the beach, so they, not that they get their fish from there, but I think they're more like in salt touch water, with salt water because it's next to, you know, the ocean. And this was like a lot of freshwater shit. It was a lot of shit that I've had in fish tanks before. <coughs> it was a lot of fun. And then that night, I did this place called Skylark Lounge. This show called High Note. And that one was, I think it was like good to be the first. Cause technically, that's my first headlining show I've ever done. Technically. There's been like other couple shows that I've like closed out the show. But it's not like a, like not advertised as a headliner. And is it really headlining? I don't know, because it's only like it was only thirty minutes, so it's not like true headlining. <laughs> and so, uh, but yeah, that one was a little bit rough. It was a fun set. Like I don't think my That's set the was one where bad. That lady was talking the whole time. Yeah, there was a lady talking the whole time. It was a little. The turnout was fine. Like I can't, I can't do. I mean, being from Southern California and some of the bar shows that I've been a part of in my earlier years of comedy, I can't even complain. Like if every bar show was like that, that's good. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a, that was a decent amount of people and all that. But uh, so, but it was a little bit light, especially accord. That's what it seems like the, you know, the gossip was <laughs> around town because a couple people that, a couple comics that weren't even there. And they asked me about it, and I was like, oh, yeah, it was cool, because I'm not going to fucking – I'll never shit on, on something. You know, they fucking pay me money to go do comedy. I'm not going to shit on it. And so I was like, oh, it was cool. And they're like, oh, I heard it was a little bit light. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, but it was fine. But it was just – I don't know. The vibe – a lot of people talking. Mm-hmm. Like the door guy was talking to somebody, to a chick. I mean, I think he's just probably trying to fuck a chick. So, I, I mean, I don't hate on the guy, but I also hate on the guy <laughs> because he was fucking, you know, basically j- – being a bad example yeah, for the crowd for the crowd and he was over by the bar which w- but the bar wasn't far enough away to be doing that shit <laughs> what was your what was your take on that show because you i guess you always have a different well you don't always have a different take but you may sometimes have a different take because you're not a comic mm. i mean it was a fun show i think i told you i felt like it did kind of have an intro that gave the vibe of like a hangout which kind of invites the feeling you can talk Right. The people you're there with. Because, like, that's always, like, a, I feel like a thing that's designated right away. Like, the vibe, whether or not you can talk to the people, or, like, you should feel comfortable talking to people you came with. Right. Like you can always. Which you should never, you should never feel comfortable talking to I'm the people you came with. I'm just saying, but that's, with. like, something always, like, at a venue, when you come in and you sit down, like, if it's not designated real quickly, like, don't, then. Yeah. And then, like you said, I feel like you kind of feel like the bar was far enough, but it's not. And nobody says that. Like, you, at the rec room, it's, like, made known, like, hey, it's a small room. Yeah. You can hear this. But people don't really pay attention. And then, yeah, at the bar, so people were drunk. Yeah, it was pretty, uh, it was okay. It was fine. I think the set <coughs> went fine. Is that the one where we did the photo booth? I forget. Yes, that's the one where we did the photo I booth the downstairs. Photo. Yes, <laughs> review of the comedy show. Great photo booth <laughs> in the downstairs bar that had nothing to do with the show. <laughs> You freak. Oh, and the pizza. We had pizza. That oh, was delicious. dude. We had some really good pizza. Huge ass pizza. Which <laughs> you got to come to the comedy store with me one of these Mondays. At, well, I guess we would have to go on a different day. But there's a pizza place right by the comedy store that we found yeah. that's fucking like that. But they have a way more like option. That's why I'd asked you if you like white pizza that day. Like I was asking you about white sauce and stuff. Like, well, cause remember when we went to, to Vegas before? We went to Evil Pizza? Yes. And that's kind of the same. Well, did you get white sauce? That's where I got the pesto one. Ah, uh, the pesto and white sauce are two different things. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do you like Dr. Pepper? <laughs> well, motherfucker, I drank a Sprite last week. I'm just saying, <laughs> <laughs> I like white sauce because I like, yeah, I would get that. I just don't see it at a lot of places. Yeah. But I don't see the pesto either, but when I see the pesto, I'll get it. Honestly, pro tip for pizza, like, get whatever pizza you like for the most part, unless you like, like, really weird shit on your pizza. But just get it with white sauce. Sometimes at the rec room, if I order a pizza, I get the white pizza and get it as pepperoni, mushroom, and all. Well, pepperoni and olive because the rec room doesn't have fucking mushrooms because they don't use anything with mushrooms. Okay, and? So what was the hack? You order it with white sauce? Yeah, you order white sauce. <laughs> so you order like a white pizza, but then you just get like pepperoni and all kinds that's of shit just on the, that's it. That's the hack, yeah. <laughs> Not every hack is fucking 
breaking into the government's mainframe. Sometimes you're hacking into like your neighbor's shit just okay, to see what they're up to, you know? Point. I thought that was like, I don't know, I didn't think that was a hack. You could just order white pizza with whatever toppings you want. Okay, I should have called it, uh, what do I call it, a tip? Like, <laughs> what do I call it, what I do? Like, what I like to do sometimes. <laughs> but I only do that really at the rec room. and that. But th- I think it was, I think it's Joe's or Joey's, the place by the comedy store. And they have a fucking bomb. It was like white pizza with ricotta and spinach. Mm. I think that quiche fucking put me out yesterday i think that's what like really i don't even think it was actually getting stuff from texas roadhouse i think the quiche went into my stomach and i wasn't thinking about how much cheese was in it and it just fucking started fucking around in there and then i put bread and steak and scrimp and and fucking buttered corn and the baked potato (laughs) i know we just keep talking (laughs) about it until we're like Dude, they take the bread to you with the table. There is no time <laughs> without bread. You don't go sit there and go like, oh, I can't wait for this. I'm salivating. Look at other people's food. They get you, and they're like, they're like you. And the way they did, they don't go like, hey, it's going to be a couple minutes. The girl's like, you, wait right there. <laughs> so, like, And the people before us, she was like, okay, I got you. You wait right there. Because she like, points at a spot. That was probably you. this chick, this specific one. I don't know if that's No, like dude, that's <laughs> Roadhouse. That's Texas Roadhouse <laughs> training. Hey, you tell these motherfuckers where you want them. Right there. It's fucking wild. Yes, and then they take you to your table with bread. You already have bread, dude. There's They're like, no- come with me, follow the bread. And you're just like, it's like a cartoon where like I wasn't even on the floor. It was just me floating and Following my nose bread. smelling. <laughs> but yeah, fu- like a fucking bread. It w- I mean, besides that, it was like, I mean, it was like just a meal from fucking, you know, it's like, I don't know, maybe a little bit better Black Angus. Which I've, I'm fine with. The, I'm fine with these fucking target level food places i'm okay with that what i don't want is the walmarts i don't want the applebee's i don't want the chilies i've never been to applebee's i don't know if i've ever been to chilies although like i want chilies but i want like 2002 chilies i I can't think of applebee's and not think of couples retreat that movie Mm, i never saw it and that guy and he's like you're gonna end up at applebee's alone yeah, Applebee's is just a <laughs> Applebee's is just like a punchline. Applebee's is like the Nickelback of food. Like people, fuck you, don't hate on Nickelback. I don't hate on Nickelback. I even have a clip about this. I just I wonder why everyone turned on them. You know, I remember Nickelback from the first Spider Man. They say that a hero could save us. <laughs> a blue blah blue blee blah blue blay. <laughs> Nickelback is fine with me. I mean, I'm not super into it. I did think it was corny when they were like, look at this autograph. When they went pop culture. Yeah, like when they did all that, it was a little corny. But I mean, but they probably made their fucking money. You know what I mean? Uh, By the way, this podcast, we have uh, one of my favorite art pieces here. Uh, (laughs) I call I call this uh, this is I call this rolling on 12s. (laughs) Uh, I don't know if you guys can really take away what's going on here, but this is a bowling, and all it is is a guy's legs and shoes <laughs> at the bowling alley. I'm I noticed that when we came into the room. <laughs> I just was like, why? I, I, that made me, because I thought of the Rolling on 12's title, and it made me think that like on the road, because it's always like trying to think of stupid, fun things to fill the time with, and then making content is fun and, and beneficial if you make good content. But I could name all like the art pieces that I see along the way but it's like not all of them are going to just be real fucking fun ones like rolling on 12s you know what i mean you get the double meaning right i don't know if you rolling on 12s it's like uh a hood culture it's like 12 inch rims oh. it's like how Why would uh, i know like this i don't know your grandpa tried to give me a fucking gold <laughs> chain and i put it on and you were like ooh too black <laughs> <laughs> don't think i wasn't going to tell everybody that and then i also agreed with you it wasn't me. It wasn't Kenny. It wasn't very, like, I can't wear, I don't know. I, I don't know what I can wear. I can wear an Apple Watch. <laughs> that works. But, no, it makes it makes sense. It, it did make sense. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't I'm not a. I don't know anything about cars. I don't know anything about hood culture. I'm not a chain guy. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, now it's your chain. Yeah. Now it's just for you. The monitor died, but the camera's still rolling, so. Don't okay. stress out if you look over there and see that it's not re- that okay, you can't see yourself. Oh, shut the fuck up, you fucking freak! So after all this food this weekend, yeah, was that a good play by play of how our fucking trip has been so far? Yeah. Oh, we tried to go to Meow Wolf yesterday. We tried to fit that in. Didn't realize that you have to 
get timed tickets and it just wasn't going to work out with us wanting to go to red lobster which turned into a texas roadhouse yeah uh it was like either eat before the show or do meow meow yeah and so we chose to eat <laughs> maybe should have chose meow <laughs> And I wouldn't have been climbing flights of stairs to <laughs> excrete from my anus. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm ridiculous. No, I'm not ridiculous. It was terrible. It was ter- The stairs were so steep. Every time I got to the top of the stairs to go down them, I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, I felt, and I was like, grab on the rail and go down. How do you think I, I felt almost dying at the top, being scared out of my like life? Oh, yeah. One of the co- the comics scared her on accident. <laughs> it's a creepy place. Oh, yeah. I guess we could talk about that. Is the, the Denver Comedy Underground really fun shows? I really like the, 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 vibe. the vibe and the room, the comedy room itself, but it's in the bottom of a church. Which is weird. Which is like we and the church is, it's an old building, so it's just. I think a church also just feels weird in general to most people if you're not religious. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I think you're just thinking of like possessed people being in the. <laughs> yeah, and then it's all ear. It's like creaky and eerie. And yeah, and that church. I mean, we're in the middle of fucking Denver in a oak like a whatever area. You know what I mean? So, like, you're already, yeah, there's just a lot to it. Like, when we left and we went through that room, those rooms were set up. They, they looked, like, right out of, like, they looked like I could have went there when I was seven, and they haven't changed since then. They look right out of the 90s, like, 80s and 90s. It was weird. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, church is always really, like, dated, I feel like. Yeah, it was, it was weird. But, yeah, it was in the, in it's in a, tr- even where you're sitting, like, <laughs> where the people sit, they sit in, like, church seating, like, old church like i do wish i had some of that pizza though it did smell good yeah but it was it was <laughs> i mean it's what you would it's a comedy show you're not you're usually not getting fucking you know five star food at the at a comedy Maybe show it was just frozen pizza it was just I didn't it was see frozen what they were, yeah, but it was frozen that's what i was saying is it was like it's not gonna be as good as fucking you know what was that fat sully's that we were at for the pizza by, yeah by the fat, other place fat sully's right by right Stella. next to the bis- biscuit company yeah that we went to last time yeah, it's it's that's one of the that's one of the interesting things I realized from this trip, and it starts to make sense to me. But like, like because Colorado is a very like rural, a lot of it is very rural, and then you have the city, and it's it's not like L.A. I guess I guess if you sectioned off the city of L.A. like just the that downtown city, it would be smaller. But because it's city to city to city to city to city to city to city. I don't think of how small the downtown area like is. Like L.A., like, yeah, like all of that area and is. And realizing how close everything is that we've been to. Yeah. Because today, today, or not today, this this trip, it, it made me realize, like, I'll probably, f- I'm down to fly. Unless, I, like you said, unless it's, like, some big hiking thing you're trying to do. Like, I actually am down to fly here because everything is, yeah. it, everything's in an area where I'm not going to spend. Because <laughs> my... I don't know why I'm so worried about it, but I'm just like you have the basically if you drive here, the money you spend on gas should add up, like the plane tickets plus Uber. I don't want it to be more, or I'm like much more, or I might as well just drive. Right. You know what I mean? Otherwise, it's the time. Mm-hmm. You know, you're the time that you're spending on the road, but you can make that time work for you. Like I mean, we kind of do that. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Who am I? <laughs> I'm gonna fl- fly next time. Just Uber everywhere. <coughs> Might not make it out to. Texas I would just Roadhouse. walk here, walk everywhere here for the most part, in the downtown area. Like I mean, that that is true. I would I would adjust it to like the things I do. I'm gonna walk to. Yeah. Or if they have those bird scooters, maybe because they have those. I kind know those look fun. We we should try those. Yeah, maybe if we see some today, we'll grab some and go for a fucking ride. But we gotta be careful. I don't know. Just another thing to I don't. To get hurt. Yeah, <laughs> of course you gotta be fucking careful. Can't be getting hurt. But, uh, yeah, so this was an update. If you were uh, – I should have said this in the beginning, but there's no phone calls or anything on this because I don't, like, have all that, like, shit to set up on the road. But you can uh, call in or text anything that you'd like to the, the phone number that I'm pulling up right now for the podcast. And it is 714-702-5689. Um, yeah, like I always say, call it, text in anything, questions, comments, concerns. Um, 
if you want us a few people te- like like a few of the ones i have that will be on the next few episodes where people like asking for advice um once somebody told a really long story that i'm gonna i'm trying to figure out how i want to show it because it's long it's like six minutes long but it's good it's pretty good and but it's like what am i going to show us just sitting here for six minutes being like listening "Hmm." (laughs) oh wow story so i was thinking about doing some type of edit some type of like photoshop edit for it it'll just probably take me you know a couple weeks of working on it here and there to get it done um but yeah call or text with like i said questions comments concerns i guess if you want advice that's not like my big thing I think there's a lot of podcasts right now that are either, you know, started in the past year or I see some comics starting podcasts where that's like their main thing. Like, let me give you advice. I don't want to, I don't, I'm down. I will, but I don't know who am I giving, giving you advice. I more like want to make fun of you, uh, maybe in your stupid phone calls or, you know, bad choices. I don't really want to like tell you how to fix it. I want to like laugh at you. (laughs) So there's that. Um, Oh, the shows. I, we didn't really talk about the shows last night. The shows last night were good. They did a 6 p.m. show specially for me that I headlined because they, cause they already had this weekend booked up, but they wanted to, like, get me in, so I thought that was nice of them. The place was, like, I don't know, like, half full. For, for the 6 p.m. show? For the 6 p.m. show. About yeah. about half full, which they've never done a 6 p.m., so <laughs> it makes me feel a little bit better. Um, and a good amount of people bought tickets just to come see me. So that yeah. was a lot of – that was cool. That was a cool experience. Uh, sold a little bit of merch, and yeah, it was like my that was I would say that was the first like headlining experience. I was really the people bought tickets to come see me. There were people like excited, you know, the two Mexican dudes that took the pictures with me. Like literally, one of them messaged me on Facebook <laughs> and was like, "Dude, it was nice to meet you. Keep killing it. I want you to come back here and see you again." And then those were the, I didn't even realize. Those were the guys, the high guys in the back nice. that I told. The, and you're like, hey, thank you for making me a part of your shit. Like, so I was like, that was fucking yeah. nice of them. Super cool. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird thing because I'm, I, I don't know, like, because you, I see a lot of comics. They're like, always just like, oh, yes, I'm so, oh, I'm grateful. Oh, yeah, I'm doing. And I'm like grateful and shit, but uh, for sure, for like fans and being able to do all of this, uh, do all this shit. But it is. I just talk so much shit, then that's really me. <laughs> so how, how like, fucking namaste and, like, I just, you know, want to fucking, <laughs> you know, I just want to fucking spread joy. <laughs> I want to spread joy. No, I'm, like, want to fucking make people laugh, but I kind of want to, like, fuck with everything as much as I can on the way to making people. Like, like I want you to be a little bit, like, fuck this guy. I can't help but like him. Like, that's what I feel. <laughs> That's the perfect thing. Like, if you, like, are, are like, I'm <coughs> definitely down with the people that are fully on board. I am. Mm-hmm. Like, fully on board, great. But besides that, I, besides those mm-hmm. fucking diehard fully on board, the people that, like, really get it, like, right out of the gate, I want people to, like, be like, this guy is fucking a kind of annoying and weird. I and feel so like that all the time. Well, yeah. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> and then, but but I can't help but laugh at what he says. Yeah. 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 That's how you feel? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> so I guess I'll do the phone number thing one more time as we close it out. It's uh, 714-702-5689. Uh, and, yeah, please do call in and text and stuff because it helps me. It helps me be inspired to continue to do the podcast because as I put this out and if people aren't doing that, like if you're thinking like maybe I should do it, you should do it because that helps me immensely and I care about myself a lot. So. <laughs> I need that help. And you ready to end it? Yeah. How was it? The podcast? Yeah. Fun. Fun? You had a good time? Mm-hmm. Hopefully the sound sounds good with these microphones that I got. Fucking. Bye. Bye. <laughs>